Hey, I just want to make note of this. I saw this Stephen Anderson clip that says the rapture is the second coming, and I think that it's interesting that he sees the connection between the quote-unquote rapture passages and the second coming. And so he looks basically at Matthew 24, and he says, Then shall two be left in the field, in verse 40, the one shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And he says that this is the second coming. And I say amen to that. But he also says that it's the rapture, this false rapture idea that, you know, it's eschatological, it's in the future, and all at once the whole body of Christ on earth is going to be taken without having to face death. And they're going to be taken so they can escape some kind of horrible tribulation that's going to take place on the earth. And I say no to that. But uh, I've said that the quote-unquote rapture is the resurrection. It's what happens when an individual believer dies and they go to be with the Lord. That is the second coming. So why is one left and why is one taken? Okay, because the Lord can come at any time for any individual without warning. That's how he comes as a thief in the night, okay, without warning. And so, you know, and the tribulation and the wrath that the the um, believer you know won't have to face isn't something that's coming on this earth it's the wrath that is hell okay it's eternal damnation that's what unbelievers will have to face they will be um you know taken over uh taken over it'll be as if they were taken over by a thief you know they are pillaged and destroyed in hell but that's why one is taken and one is left because at any night you know the lord says uh, this night your soul your soul is required of you and so that is when the lord comes again for a specific individual that is the second coming okay and that is the resurrection for believers okay there is no such thing as this rapture okay the the whole teaching of it it's false it's the resurrection but that's interesting that he sees this connection between the rapture, the quote-unquote rapture, rapture, and the second coming. And so, uh, but he has a faulty idea of the rapture and holds to the all this futurism doctrine that confuses everything, and the Bible doesn't teach. So, yeah, anyways, interesting. God bless.